Another week has come and gone. Please excuse me for the glasses. I'm having some minor eye irritations. Um, so I figured it would be best to just not put my lenses in this week. So I'm going to be rocking the geek chic thing, I guess, until it gets better. So, sorry. Um, Again, I've been crazy, crazy busy. I feel like I have a sense of deja vu because what happened was is uh, YouTube extended its format to 15 minutes. And I'm like, sweet, I have 15 minutes to say and do whatever I want. And I shoot this video and I edit it and it's all ready to go. And I go to upload it and my iMovie will not let me do that because it's saying that the file's too big. So that really kind of froths my cookies just a little bit. So I'm just repeating myself all over again, but you're just hearing it for the first time. Anyway, uh, I've been really, really busy. We had a house guest this weekend for Oticon. I personally was not at Oticon. I hardly ever get into Oticon. Their artist alley fills up in about 10 minutes, and it's always during like my really busy show season, so I hardly ever make it. I really wish they would change their format so that professionals could have like a, an allotted space or something but I guess until that changes or I get super lucky I will not be at Oticon anytime soon but anyway we had a guest come down our friend Andre he went to Oticon um the really cool thing is is he picked me up and got them signed for me by Peter S. Beagle uh the last unicorn comics which was so nice um especially because I could not get my hands on this one in the comic shops for anything. Um, so I have signed one and two. The third one is coming out in August, which is now, so it should be coming out anytime soon. Um, I think these are so hard to get a hold of because people, the, the comic shops, uh, really underestimated Peter's appeal and the popularity of this comic. I think maybe only ordered one or two copies and then they sell out immediately. Um, I have ordered from my local shop, Fudd's Rabbit Hole, which I love, um, this one, like a month ago, and I still don't have it. So, like I said, Andre got it for me, got it signed, so that's awesome. Uh, I highly recommend, if you can't get your hands on these, which most people can't, either get there the day the comic comes out early, because there's probably like one and um and or you can go to conlin press and they have them all and then you don't have to worry about trying to get your hands on the rest of them there will be six issues so um i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to conlin press i'm gonna put a link in the bottom bar um so you guys know where to go and support uh peter's work it, these this is stunning these are so well done um which is nice because some of the other adaptations of things like the Dark Tower series is crap. The artwork's awful. Uh, but this, this is really nice. So check those out. Um, I'm listing a bunch of originals on Etsy right now. And I'm doing it on Etsy because we're not going to do the bidding war and the whole rigmarole. I don't have time for it. You guys don't have time for it. I'm just going to list it for what I want it for. And you either buy it or you don't. Um... Johnny matted this for me the other day. This is my sketch from um, Comic Con. It is matted to an 11 by 14. It's signed by me. I can personalize the mat if you buy it. Again, this is in my Etsy store. I have the link down there. And um, it's $50, which isn't bad for original art. No prints or reproductions will be made of this. So, this is a one of a kind piece. And it's first come, first serve. So the other piece I did at Kineticon has already been sold and shipped, in case anyone was wondering what happened to it. Uh, I also have another piece. Which I really, really like this piece, and I've had it for years. But I think it's time for it to find another home. Um, uh, this is Hazel Raw and the Black Rabbit. I mean, look how big it is. It's huge. It's 22 by 28 inches on acrylic board. Um, I did this in 2006. This is actually signed with my maiden name, so it's uh, considered a collector's item. Um, 
I love the piece. It's a great piece. I just don't have room for it. I'm going to be listing a lot of originals because my art's going in a different direction. And I mean, these things sit in a closet and I honestly don't want to gesso over or destroy the pieces, but I really am getting to the point where I have so many things just sitting there. It's, it's ridiculous. So check out Etsy. Uh, all this week because I'm going to be adding other things, but Halo Raw and the Black Rabbit, it's $75, which again is pretty cheap. Shipping might be kind of pricey because of the width of the piece. Um, they have size restrictions and shipping, so they charge you more the longer it is and all that ridiculousness, but it's not going to be too bad. So check out my Etsy store. Uh, this week I've been doing all kinds of like weird mixed media things. Uh, it started out with um, this piece here. Uh, working title is uh, Moon Dance. And um, I really like this piece, but what happened is, is I put it on the wrong paper by accident. And then I started working on it and I didn't really... It wasn't until I put water on it that I realized that it was not what I thought it was. And uh, we had some buckling issues and stuff. So I mounted it to wood. I'm going to cover it in clear gesso. And then I'm going to hopefully fix it. But I really, really like this piece. And I hope, like, nothing bad happens to it. But it's a 14 by 14 inch square. Um... And that's what I'll be working on this week, and hopefully it won't be a big nightmare. So, yeah, um, I've been grungifying some old maps for another project that'll be upcoming. Getting ready for Dragon Kong because it's like a month away. Um, let's see, I have an update on the plush. The update is we have no update. Uh, there were some things just going on in the background that, um, you know, it's it's not going how we anticipated and there could be a delay if it's a really extended delay what we'll be doing is issuing refunds but at this point I don't know what's going to happen right now I should know within like the next two weeks hopefully um, seventh house publishing is shipping my calendars also my Fortuna the cat calendars I'll put the link in the bottom bar along with my Etsy shop um, so they're shipping them. I know that they're shipping them because some of them have come to my house to be signed from by other customers. So it says like August 16th, but I think if you've pre-ordered them, some of them have been shipped already. They're also getting ready to ship. So support, um, support me by getting a Fortuna calendar. If you guys were looking to get one of them, that's the only way they'll keep asking for more calendars from me. I'm running out of time. So I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Hi guys! Thanks so much for your support. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to sign up for that. We will have a subscribers only contest in our 100th episode, which is coming up because we're at episode 93. Be sure to friend me on Facebook for all the latest news and updates. And I'm done guys, so have a great week. And I will be talking to you again next week with some new art. So. Bye.